That's right, that's right. Actually, uh, Vika is uh, a leader in instrumentation solution worldwide. And yes, we are proud to celebrate now 75 years of Vika's existence into uh, measurement solutions. And uh, in line with that, of course, uh, in India also we are now there for more than 25 years. The operation has been there in India. And we are expanding as I speak. We are growing and expanding uh, every day as we see the market in India. instrumentation, uh, you know, whether it is pressure, temperature, or level measurement. We are also into SF6 gas handling and equipment. Uh, now, whenever I'm, I'm talking about the also the accessories, which are like valves, manifolds, and others. So, so we are into the entire range of instrumentation, that is one. Uh, we are also into calibration services. We are into calibration technology products. Uh, so there is a very wide range of instrumentation solutions that Vika is into. And uh, you know, we, we are also the focus area as you see, uh, the trends which are there today for IOT. Uh, we are investing uh, in, a, in a big deal uh, in our innovation center, which is now there in our headquarters. That has been the largest investment for Vika worldwide, which has been the ever the largest investment. And with uh, regards to that, we are now focusing a huge portion of our investment into innovation. which is close to Frankfurt in Germany. So that's a huge center which is there for focusing on innovation and innovation solution, innovative solutions which will come out of it by the years to come. So on the instrument side, if I talk about, if you look at our this application demo, what we have recently prepared for, especially for this automation. Okay. I'll just give you a brief, it's an application of water tank yes. where we have mounted our, all of our products starting from the gauges to the temperature, transmitter, we have level over here, right? And, and everything is connected to a edge box. So when okay. we talk about the edge box, it is more of the Ethernet module, gateways, converter, okay. everything is getting over here at the dashboard. So, so the idea of this entire automation is in the industry trend which is now becoming more on the industry 4.0 now it's been 2.5.0 where is the value they went right? Okay. so just imagine an industry where everything is stored at one place and everything today people have to go to that particular application to see what is there now what we have located here we have made a dashboard which is remotely accessible to the user and there is a set alarm which is a critical alarm which can uh, you know, all the parameters here, suppose if the temperature is exceeded the temperature beyond 70, you will get an SMS in your phone as a GSM to your cloud service that your alarm has gone down and it will automatically cut down this uh, heat. So, so there's so, a demonstration unit which is there today, okay. yeah. it showcases that you can put most of the instrumentation, the applications and we created a solution for the customer as a value added service to see. This is a water tank's uh, application, it's very simple. Yeah, it, 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 just it, just a it is more than you know kind of you can do the same yeah, for any kind of meter, 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 meter. It's any just a demonstration. So automation practice see uh Vika is a new to the automation because uh, Vika is purely into the conventional mechanical type of the product model. But keeping the pace with the market trends, so we have also have to be there. So in automation, what we are trying to say is here that our all products are communicable. Okay. Right? We are providing all a solution. All connected products. products. So all our products can be connected to any gateways available oh. in the market, to any dashboard. So our with artificial intelligence, through artificial intelligence, through machine language, we, we can display all the parameters, all the values of the dashboard. So this is how we guide wired solutions as well as wireless solutions are there today. Okay. For all the instrumentation devices where we can monitor yeah. We are uh, really expanding into India. Last year, we even in, in the tough times of COVID, we of course opened a new plant and facility in Gaziabad okay. in India. Okay. We are expanding our Pune facility. We have uh, bought more land and building in Pune. Mm -hmm. So we are expanding some product lines there as well. Uh, there is a huge focus on India 
as a manufacturing base for exporting also a lot of our products overseas to our own subsidiaries worldwide and right so each and every plant is growing but we also are expanding the infrastructure and facility uh, i think uh, there's a lot of focus there today uh, uh, everybody is looking at india very favorably uh, as, as a base for investment for the future uh, for sure we have the talent skills engineering capability in india you see a lot of service growth in india as we are seeing today huge in india but i think even on the manufacturing side we see a lot of emphasis today where uh, all uh, you know overseas businesses that we have they're all expanding in the same i i mean i think at the customers last uh, two weeks talking to a lot of customers and everybody is bullish about uh, what they're seeing as a trend in the market today the response of the very 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 wonderful actually for the boss this is something it's happening out there you know the covid it's happening out there so many of the years so people are really excited to see what you know the exit era on what they are doing after two years they are exit is exactly exactly close so our first time that we are developed this kind of application presenting that eco also has the automation solution for the rdm of the industry so that that people are getting attracted to this process The exhibition is very good. You see a lot of good exhibitors here. So we have a lot of big names and big big companies who are exhibiting here. And I think the quality of the exhibition overall is very very good. Uh, of course, we are hoping to see more footfall. And you know, the first day obviously was low. But today I'm expecting that it should be secure. I think uh, I would only like to say that uh, you know, Vika in India has been extremely successful, and we we, we would like to. Continue the space of growth in India with a lot of investment and focus into the India market as well as supplying from India as a global base for manufacturing.